Hey guys, this is Snowboard Nut, and uh, we're going to talk about watts of quads power distribution board for the ZMR250. Now, the board has an onboard RSSI smoothing filter that takes a free sky uh, high frequency PWM signal and converts it to an averaged analog voltage. And that was originally designed so that the voltage could go straight to the minimum and uh, would require no offboard. Uh, filtering to be done. It would all be built internal on the board to make wiring cleaner. Then, uh, as things go, uh, clean flight development is moving so fast that uh, it turns out that the NAS can actually uh, take the RSSI PWM signal from a free sky receiver and take it into its ADC channel uh, and process it on the NAS. But outboard filtering is required. So, uh, in recent days, we've discussed that, uh, you know, wow, it would be cool if the onboard RSSI smoothing filter that was originally designed for the minimum would work instead to route that output from the onboard RSSI filter straight to the NASA's ADC channel. Then it was mentioned that the NASA's ADC channel has a 3.3 volt maximum voltage allowance. So we weren't sure what the native PWM signal was coming out of the free sky receiver, in this case a D4R2. So um, Wads of Quad asked me a couple of days ago, do I have an oscilloscope to check it? Um, I do now. So here's what we got. Right now uh, the Tyrannus is turned off. And the way we've got this scaled here, uh, basically this dotted line up here, I have set as uh, V1 voltage 1 cursor. I've set this cursor at 3.36 volts. And let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and view V1 cursor, voltage 1 cursor, just to verify. Yes. Now you see down here uh, the cursor set at 3.3 volts, which is uh, this line right up here. The receiver is off right now. Uh, bottom line down here is zero volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the receiver, the transmitter on, see what we get here. What we're looking for is we're hoping that the PWM uh, cycles uh, reach this 3.3 volt line, but don't go over the 3.3 volt line. So let's see what we get. Are you ready for a good time? Sit back and fasten your seat belts and put the beer can down, and let's fly this shit. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So, yep. We're going to flip the transmitter back off. And there we go, folks. So, it looks like the onboard RSSI filter on Wads of Quads' PDB is going to be a win-win situation for the fact that uh, it's going to have a couple of uses now. We can use the onboard filter to either uh, push the averaged analog voltage signal straight to the minimum, or we can push that output from that RSSI filter right to the NASA's ADC channel and let the NASA process it and then send that data over the TXRX serial lines to the minimum without having to actually wire the RSSI straight to the minimum. So, this is what we got. Hope you guys find this useful. Thanks for watching.